Hello, 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 you guys. What's up, lovely? Welcome to Real Talk Live, Real Talk Live with our Nat D Love. And I want to talk about Grandparents Day, y'all. Listen, happy Grandparents Day to everybody that are grandparents, that is. And it's so exciting. See, when I was younger, I didn't understand. My grandma used to go crazy over grandparents day she would get mad if the preacher didn't let her recognize grandparents day she said everybody get to recognize the day mother's day father's day birthday but you don't recognize grandparents day and i couldn't understand what the big um deal was about grandparents day but now that i'm a grandparent i do understand and this is the deal though I want to give my hats off to all of those good, good, good grandparents. Thank you. Thank you so much for the, I think, the diamonds, big ram. I want to give all, thank you so much for the, the gifts. I want to give all of the the, the kudos, the, the glory. See, I got one of my grandchildren here, and she's eating up my, my snacks. All of the kudos to those good, good grandparents, you know what I'm saying? Because I am not the one to be babysitting. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, um, Big Red for the hand hearts and the roses. Okay, get up, get up. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. And so I am not the one to be babysitting. And, and doing all that grandparent stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I am one of the best grandparents there is. And that right, baby? I'm a good grandmama. I know. And But I'm not going to be doing all that um, extras. Extras, you know. Because when I was growing up, my mama told me like this. She said, y'all can have all the kids you want. Have all the kids you want. But what you're not going to do is bring them and put them off on me. So you're not going to... Um, have no automatic babysitter. If you're not working, leave that alone. If you're not working, don't think I'm going to keep them kids, okay? My kids didn't spend the night at my mama's house just for GQ. Nope, they had to stay with me. Sit down. They had to stay with me. My kids were not allowed to go to my mama's house and play that grandma, grandkid stuff. Mm -mm. Their whole entire lives. When I was stationed in Korea, was the only time that my son stayed with my mother. That was it. And I paid, baby, let me tell you something. Mm, hold on. Mm -mm. Mm. Wait a minute, y'all. Mm. When I was in Korea, I paid my mama handsomely for it. Do you hear what I say? She not only got the money from me, she got every cent of my child support money, too. Everything went to my mama. My mama made more keeping my son than I did from child support. Because she got child support from the daddy and the mama. Thank you, thank you. She she wasn't playing. She was like, and her check was late one time from the daddy. She on the phone calling everybody. Everybody, everybody. My sister said she didn't even go to work. She said, y'all paying her so much she ain't even working. Now, she'll deny it, but I know what I was paying her, and I know what he was paying her, and um, she was uh, she was uh, getting paid. Y'all hear me? And I'm talking about this was in 90, um, I want to say 96. She was getting paid, baby, to keep that child. And But that was the only time my mom kept my baby. She didn't babysit. Okay, so I wasn't raised in a culture where I could just drop my kids off to my mama. So to the grandmama. So naturally that's how I that's what I adopted. Now, when we were little, I had big cousins. I had older cousins where uh, my grandma had raised my cousins. So it was different because I could go to my grandma house because my cousins was over there. So my mom didn't really like us going to grandma house, but she didn't care that we went to grandma house. It was like my children don't have to go to my mama's house. They can stay home. My mother enjoyed having her kids home, right? 
and and she used to do I mean so much home cooked dinners and painting the walls with fruit on the walls to make us eat fruit and stuff like that. I mean we had a very good mother. Every night she cooked. I don't know nothing about that, but that's what my mother did. And so we didn't have to go to grandma house, but we did go to grandma house and we were welcome at grandma house. But my mother had already said, don't bring them kids over here. Matter of fact, she said, when you want to see me, when you want your kids to see me, call me, tell me you coming. I'm going to stand on the porch. I'm going to wave at the kids. That's what my mama said. And I pretty much, that's what she did. We didn't do a whole bunch of going to mama's house, sitting and, and eating and lollygagging and all that stuff. If we went out, if we want to have dinner with mama, we was, um, y'all was raised by your grandma. Mm -mm, we weren't. When we want to have dinner with my mama, um, we were taking her out. We were going out to the restaurant to eat. We won't sit at no big old table having no, no dinner. So I want to say um, kudos to all of the grandparents. But especially them homegrown grandmamas and grandfathers that believe in them country dinners and believe in taking care of grandchildren and having the grandchildren for the summer or vacations and stuff like that. Because there is no way on God's green earth that I can. I can't do it. I can't. I got four grandkids. I cannot have them all together at one time. It would drive me crazy. Drive me crazy crazy i cannot do it i don't have the patience maybe because i worked in law enforcement for so long i'm so used to working with adults um and kids just kind of like takes me on a different level you know i gotta watch what i say gotta watch how i say gotta watch how i move and groove you know what i'm saying so i cannot be around children for long periods of time okay i love them to death i want to make the best decisions for them. i want to make sure they succeed and everything put that stuff right in order from that foundation i want to build that foundation for the kids but me being around kids for a long periods of time i don't know i guess my anxiety be going on you know something be happening get headaches like i got a headache right now i got but one grandkid with me right now and i'm not free i don't remember what the terms of her stay she came yesterday i'm not sure when she, i think she's supposed to go home today i'm gonna be making some phone calls in a few Cause I, I don't know what my baby supposed to be doing, but I know what they grandma got a headache, and I know it's because I'm not used to having kids around me. I know I know it's it, that's what it is. I'm not used to having kids around me. I, I'm, I'm you know I'm used to being able to jump up and move, and it's because my baby, you know my baby's in college now, y'all. So it's like he was not trying to feel me. He wasn't trying to feel me. Oh, she know I love her. Don't you know your grandma love you? you want some of this? Want some? Come on, get some. She know I love her, but, oh, 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 see, 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 <laughs> I'm talking about, oh, hey, girl, y'all see what I'm talking about, got my anxiety on, on 20, you hear me, hey, girl, go on over there, you're gonna, gonna stay in your little circle, where the look, your garbage, see, I had to, I had to keep her stationary because she like her grandma, she like to snack, and I had to clean this whole flow, this whole entire flow. And I keep her in her little area, and all I gotta do is clean where she was because she's a snacker like me. Oh, but that's my baby. Okay, you know I, I love snack. She, I love that she like to snack, but all that cleaning up for me 24 7, making me all nervous and stuff. That OCD be kicking in. I just bought a little broom, I got one, one little broom. Give me that broom right there, that I can show you my broom. Let me see. Yeah, give me that one. Then go give me the blue. I had this one in the office, y'all. Okay. And my dog on nerves got so bad that she because she was dropping stuff yesterday. I bought this one today. Y'all tell me, do I need to be keeping grandkids? Put that back on them. Mm mm. I can't do one. I can't do them. And I love my grandkids. Honey. Let me tell you something. Make sure they have. I'm a person where they need to have purchase. I'm going to make sure they eat. I'm going to make sure they do all that stuff. I'm going to take care of them real good. But what I cannot do is commit to being a babysitter. If you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you got to depend on me to pick these kids up after school and watch them until you get off work, we're not going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem. I, I just, mentally, I can't do it. You know, oh my goodness, somebody's turned up this um, thing. Mentally, I can't do it. I cannot. I can't um 
you know, babysit. That's just not my grandmother qualities. My grandmotherly qualities is making sure, oh my God. Oh. My grandmother qualities is making sure, God forgive me for calling your name in vain, but I, I, I don't like when I'm in a chat, when people are in a chat and they keep chatting, 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 chatting. I does that be real. Y'all know what time it is when it comes to me. Little things. I'm a little OCD. That's okay. But so the um I don't I can't babysit. Okay. Even though they're my grandkids. I can't do them. Mm -mm. I love them doing. But I get to where like I like to take naps and stuff like that. And when you got kids now, when you have children with you, you can't take naps. You can't just fall asleep. No, I ain't talking about that. Y'all can talk to me. I'm talking about when I'm in a chat, like on a message chat, on a thread, and it be back to back and back to back, back to back, back to back messages. That's what be irking me. And I be like, how do I turn this notification stuff off? And I was like, this girl eating out my pork skins now. See, that's what I'm talking about now. I bought her a potato chip. You know, she eating out my pork rinds. Here, little girl. Go pick that table up, too. Hmm. Go now. So, go, go to my settings. Okay. I'm going to figure that out because um, it, you, you know I don't like noise. Anybody that know me know I don't like noise. So, I don't like... I might need to go to the doctor. I might need to get diagnosed with something. Because I got too many... Too many... Um, has a take too many boundaries going on here, you know. I don't like noise. I don't like, you know, music. Like, if I turn your post on and your post is blasting with music, I ain't going to look at it unless I'm in the mood for that. But if I, you know, if I go to a, a post and they're like, bah, 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 I'm strolling. I'm strolling because I can't do it. When I used to work inside the gym, um... All the inmates, I used to have like a hundred inmates. You could hear a pin drop. I'm just off, off key just a little bit. You could hear a pin drop because I wouldn't let them talk loud in there. I had to be able to hear what was going on and what the next mood is. And so when you in that facility, that, that environment where you got, you know, people that are criminals and stuff, and, and, and some of them are criminals, some of them weren't. Everybody wasn't guilty. I understand that. So don't don't take offense and come up here and make me have to go off. Um, everybody's not guilty. I get that. But a lot of them are, okay? And so when you get them in there, what they like to do is they make a lot of noise. That ain't cat. See, that's what you get. That ain't cat. That's key. I got four grandchildren. I say, come in, little girl. See? This one, this, this one. This is my mini me. See? She over here just to eat my stuff, huh? I don't know what they girl. So, yeah. Go, girl. Go, try to be in my, my video. Go. <laughs> so, um, we had, um, they, they would get the fighting up in there. They get the fussing. And they keep it noisy in there so the, the, um, deputy don't know what they're doing. Oh, but thank you for the roses for her. So they definitely don't know what they're doing. And so next time you know, you mess around and get hit. I ain't play that mess. I need quietness. I need peace and quietness. When I like to, you know, when I like to go to sleep like now, right now with my granddaughter here, I have a headache. Y'all think I'm playing? I have a true headache because I don't know what she going to ask for next. <laughs> I don't know what she going to ask for next. Y'all hear all that beeping? That right there is getting to me, baby. That's getting to me. That was getting to me. That was getting to me. It's getting to me. It's getting to me. It's getting to me. It ain't their fault. It's my fault. But it's getting to me. All that beefing. Oh, my God. Lord Jesus. Oh, help me. Let me turn it off. Mm -hmm. So, let me see if I can turn it down on this end here. Okay. Maybe that'll help me. Help me, Jesus. So, with the children... All that noise and stuff. Like I said, I got four grandkids. There is no way. There is a way. Four grandkids. Uh, one of them act just like me. Not her, the oldest girl. Act just like me. Real bossy. So she'll be in here trying to boss them. And then the boy 
I be telling her she ain't the boss of him. You know, we got a fight going on. We got arguing. We got the two little ones. The little, little one, he fussing. Tell her about shut up. Because he don't want to hear the noise. Like his grandma. <laughs> you know, I can't do it. I, I don't know how y'all do it. Hey, how, how, come on, grandparents. Teach us something. Tell us how you can sit there with all them 20 grandkids at what? One time under the same roof talking about you babysitting. Help me out. Because I can't do it. I, can, I cannot do it. I cannot sit there with them four kids talking about I'm babysitting and think it's all right. Baby, let me tell you something. I remember my son just tell me. Um, he would sneak out the house and lead them three children with me, right? Baby, let me tell you something. I'd be on the verge about the, um, I'd be on the verge. Thank you, Yvonne. How are you? I'd be on the verge about to call the police. I'd call him and I'd be like, you know, left your kids unattended. You got about five minutes to get back here and tend to your children. Or I'm going to call the police and tell them you abandoned them. Because, see, the thing is, if somebody leave their kids on you, as soon as, if something was to happen to them, you're still responsible. Even though you hadn't agreed to take care of them children or anything else, you are a responsible grandparent. So if your kid's sneaking out, leaving kids on you, uh-uh. I don't play that, girl. Let me tell you something. It was some, it was some words being used up in that goddamn on house. Do you hear what I say? It was, I was unapologetically going in on him. Don't you ever leave your children on me. Because you had a Google time making them. You need to have a good time taking care of them. Because I ain't had no good time. I made two children. That's it. Shit. Here she come again, huh, girl? Here. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I don't believe in all that babysitting now. But, I mean, how y'all do? Because I know some of y'all, y'all go get the grandkids. And I know one of y'all went and went, traveled to babysit your grandkids. Mm-mm. How y'all do that? How you do that? You bribe them. Bribe them with what? Bribe them with what? I, I feed them. Y'all know I got snacks and stuff. And they eat them snacks and they go crazy. Mm-mm. Nope. I ain't about to do it. I can't do it. That's my own door. And I don't feel bad about you. Either. I do not feel bad about not being that grandparent that treat the kids. I don't feel bad about you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm, this is delicious. Mm. I don't feel bad about that. I some uh uh, you don't get no more. Go and sit down there. I have to limit your intake. See what I'm talking about. See what I'm talking about. Because, see, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, y'all. I ain't used to it. I use it. I'm a loner, I'm an introvert. I used to be by myself. I love my babies. I love my great kids. But I don't, I need about maybe like 30 minutes to an hour. Mm -mm. And we good. We good to go. Come get them. Come pick them up. And then like I worked all night. I worked all night. Websites be killing me. So I worked on my website last night. And um, y'all go to my website. Check me out. www.devonlovingme.org that is www.devornloveinme.org. Go ahead and check me out. I'm still working on the website, still under construction. Um, but there are ways that you can send some money if you want to send some money to help my my businesses. And y'all say, well, what are your businesses? Okay, I have three small businesses. I have a consultant business. That business is where I go out. Excuse you, be quiet, put my shoes down. Put my shoes back over here neatly, side by side where I had them. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Where I go out and I, I talk to children. I talk to adults. I talk to, you know, male, females about different things. You know, some of it be um, domestic violence. Some of self-empowerment. That's what I do. Self-empowerment. Because everybody, everybody 
is not going to accept you. Everybody, everyone is not going to accept you. But you got to accept yourself. When you start accepting yourself, it don't matter what you look like, baby. It don't matter what you think you look like or what you think you should look like. If you feel like you're not the way you're supposed to be with self-acceptance and self-esteem, um, you will get yourself there on your own. You will make the decision. Nobody has to make it for you. And nobody has to make you feel like you're less than. You won't allow that. And so, I know I ain't everybody cup of tea. I know I'm a thick girl, but when I was a little girl, when I was 132 pounds, size 6, 7, 8, I want everybody a cup of tea. I don't y'all know how many men told me I was too small. You too skinny. Well, to heck with you, baby. You know what I'm saying? I didn't care about that, so I was skinny. And now I even had somebody tell me I was too big for him, too thick for him. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm too sick for you. Boy, get out here for I slap y'all. You know what I'm saying? And then you, you make that comment, but yet you want to continue to call me. You want to continue to want to talk. And we you feel you got my face now before you get hurt. That's the way I look at it. Don't, don't get out my face before you get hurt because I don't play the radio. y'all. And so... I hope y'all don't put oh, oh, a whole nail mess up my stuff. But that's the way I be feeling. Don't play with me. Um, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But long as you're your own cup of tea, that's all that matters. Okay? So back to the grandkids. Because my grandkids are still my fourth food. Hmm. Hold on, y'all. Me, girl. Don't know what that is. Don't stop. Go, go sit down. You go sit down. You about to eat my pussies all the way up. So, I just want to, you know, really, I just want to acknowledge the um, the grandparents. I wanted to take a few minutes to acknowledge the grandparents, especially to put emphasis on the ones that um, are definitely, 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 definitely. Those those ones that babysit, teach them kids how to cook. Um, the ones that um, the ones that um, teach them how to crochet and sew and stuff like that. You know, I I want to give you your hats off. I mean, I salute you, baby, with my left hand. And I salute you with my right hand. Because you doing the doggone thing. Because I ain't about to do it. I ain't about to do it. Now, what I will do is make t-shirts with my grandkids within that hour that I got them. I make t-shirts with them. Because I'm telling you, when I get them, I call my son. I be like, hey, um, I got your door. I got your son. I got your chin. You coming to get them? Because, you know, he need to come see his kids. He come get them. He come get his kids and then I'll be free. But he got me today, y'all. Let me tell you, he got me today, he got me today, he got me today. He had his other three kids. And this way I had her mama bring her over to see me. So I called him. I said, I got your daughter. You come and get her. And he was like, yeah, I'll come get her. I'll come get her. I said, yeah, can I come get her so she can be with her, with her sister brother? He come get her, baby. Let me tell y'all something. I worked all night long. I think I left the office this morning about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I go home. I go to sleep. About 3 30, he called to my up the street. I said, wait a minute, what you doing? What you doing? He tells me, I'm bringing her back. I said, wait a minute, hold on. It's early. Hold on. Wait a minute. He got me. He got me. He got me. He got rid of them kids early, y'all. He got rid of them kids early. Ain't gonna nothing I can do. Because I had got him. And I don't mean, too shy. He was right. I had I had got him. And I put a kid on him. So now I just got to figure out what, what, what time... Or when she was supposed to leave because I'm not sure what the arrangement was and, and, and that's the the whole thing. Um not sure what the arrangement was. Um y'all know the, the stars. Let me hold on, let me address them. Y'all send y'all sending me these these stars from um from the pictures now. The stars that I'm talking about. These are the stars that you send that that got little pennies attached to them, y'all. Y'all, them stars y'all sending me ain't help, ain't helping the the progression of the organization here. 
Yeah, y'all got to send me the stars that got some pennies attached to it. Yeah, let's do that. You don't have to hold on, buddy. And so, this is what, so my first job, like I was saying, my first business is a consultant business where I go out, I do, um, I have a, um, I have a, um, a program uh, about changing the mentality of the kids. It's, it's, it's certified. Um, program and all that stuff. I can come out, teach your kids about that, or I can. You can pay me to use my program. However, however, um, I have um, I have another business, which is the clothing business. And that business, I used to have clothes and shoes and jewelry and all that stuff. But I have changed the dynamic of that business to just doing T-shirts and stuff. And I prefer that a little better. But I am gonna add the jewelry back and all that. But what happened when paparazzi got real, real big, um, people preferred the cheap jewelry. I mean, even though that jewelry, some of that jewelry looked so cheap. I mean, I bought some, most of it to me, little cheap glass and all that stuff like that. I ain't putting y'all down because you do what you do. It is cute when you put it on. I got some around here somewhere. It is cute when you put it on, but my jewelry was a little up, scaled up more than paparazzi, but... Y'all prefer to buy the five dollar jewelry because you can toss it in the garbage. I get it. I get it. So I kind of slapped off on my jewelry and stuff, but I'm gonna order some more jewelry to go with them t-shirts because ain't nothing like a, a piece of jewelry with some t-shirts, baby. I'm telling you, you, better rock it. Rock them necklaces and them earrings with them t-shirts, baby. We look just dress it up. And so y'all gonna hit me up on that. Um, it'll be all on my website. I'm like I say, I'm rebuilding my website, so I have all that stuff on the website as well. Um. And then my third business is my entertainment business where I do my podcast. I do go on the radio on Saturdays at 11 o'clock in the morning. So if you so if you want to do some advertising, I'm going to run a special for advertising. I'll probably have that out on tomorrow. So your advertising special, I'm going to be, I'm going to do $25 per advertising her verbal advertising so don't come with no music all that stuff you tell me what it is you want me to say um to represent your company and i get on that radio and i'll talk about your company so i was like you know you got a new restaurant out such and such and such and blah 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 for up to 30 seconds 25 dollars you can't beat it call around and see call around and see how much it's gonna cost you to do ads 25 dollars for no more than a 30 second spot I will. It was a glitch because somebody was calling me. I'm going to do ads on my radio show. So it'll be $25. And this is just for a certain amount of time because my, my price is double that. It's actually $50 for me. Uh, and then it's more for politicians. But $25 for about a 30-second slot, 20 to 30-second slot. And be 25 per Roll per week, per week. I'm gonna do it once a week for twenty five dollars for one week, twenty five dollars for the next week. That's fifty. Twenty five dollars for the next week. That's seventy five. Twenty five dollars for next week. That's a hundred. I want the mistakes. You don't get four weeks for twenty five dollars. You get twenty one week for each twenty five dollars. But you can't beat it because it's gonna be on uh FM channel and an AM channel. Plus I'll run your ad on my social media. Plus I will say it during my shows if i don't forget that's just an extra i don't have to but i do i don't mind doing it i help you promote your business i help you promote your event 25 bucks real easy easy peasy baby easy peasy and so that's what i do if i entertain me because i'm trying to get more equipment so we can start doing our short stories and stuff like that and so until the end baby look i'm enjoying life y'all better enjoy life too i thank god for where he put me the, the arena he put me in where I'm able to retire early and all that stuff. Go to the bathroom. Leave my door open. And go to the bathroom. You hear me? Go straight there. You know where to go? Move the chair. And leave the door wide open. And go to the bathroom. And wash your hands really good. Come on. There you go. There you go. Leave it there. Now go to the bathroom. Wash your hands good. Yeah. Don't. Don't tinkle on the toilet. Don't tinkle on the toilet. I'm going to check it. Go ahead. Go, go. Go, go. That way, baby.
That way. That way. Oh, Lord. That way. Come on, y'all. We got the bathroom. No, so, yeah. So, if y'all want to um advertise, feel free to hit me up for a little advertisement. And we're going to make it work. We're going to make it do what it do. Mm-hmm. So, but don't go there. You know, so I want y'all to enjoy. Enjoy your, um, your grandparents' day. And any other holiday coming up. You good? Yeah. Where you at? I'm right here. Oh, okay. Enjoy your grandparents' day. Thank you for spending this time with me. We'll real talk live on that D-Love. Now, I promise, I'm probably going to come out live and tell y'all a little, little talk story. One of my little stories from back in the day about one of my little lovelies. But I got to get rid of my granddaughter first. And when her mama come get her, or she fall asleep, I be tell y'all about them little adult stories back in the day when I was something else. I'm, I'm saved now, y'all. I'm a Christian. I laugh it because I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. Them, them, them Christian ones were something else, baby. I'm going to be honest with you. Them preachers, they were something else at one time. That's why we can tell y'all so much. That's why we can sit there and look at you and be like, if you only knew. I remember people used to act like I always been saying. I be thinking my son, honey, I ain't always been saying. Now y'all just don't know. We ain't always been saying. We ain't always been doing stuff right. And that's why we can relate to what you're talking about. I can relate to a lot of stuff. Hey, if y'all haven't got my book, you need to get your book. Hit me up for my book. Real um, I say my book is called "But You're a Minister." Dot dot dot. Them dot dot dots mean a whole bunch of things, honey. Y'all better hit me up for that book because part two coming out, and you don't want to have part two without part one. Okay. So listen. Once again, happy Grandparents Day. God loves you. I love you. Make sure you love yourself. You can probably go and love on someone else. Until we shall meet again, may good Lord bless you real good, baby. Take care.